What are you doing in there, Brandon? Oh, taking a little nap. Taking a little nap. Open up. Dude. It's nice in here. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's not anything in there yet. Well, there's there's no bed or anything, but it's not bad. No bed, no heater. No, well, it's warm enough, right? Yeah, I sure. I got some warm clothes on. I'm all bundled up here, guys. We felt like doing something a little different today. Nick caught me in the middle of my nap, as you can tell. The truck bed is empty, but we got bored and we set up the old truck tent. We haven't brought this out in what six months nine months almost it's been know, a long, long time, time since we've had this butte out but we've got the truck tent out here it's winter still and uh, we just felt like doing something a little bit different the sun came out and for whatever reason sparked an interest so what we're going to be doing is uh finding creative ways to start implementing this tent into our channel a lot more this year we thought about putting cots in here we thought about putting a mattress into here we've even thought about building a entire loft basically for a mattress in a spot to pull shelves out to put all sorts of different clothes and utensils and stuff like that so we've got some creative ideas but whoo it's a little windy i think i'm going back to my nap just kidding we can't do that all right let's see what we can fit in this bad boy Woo! all right so we've got this mattress <laughs> now I'm a pretty strong guy, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this in here by myself. So what do you say, Nick? Should we load it up in here? Yeah, let's do it. Here we go. One, two, three. Wow. <laughs> we are so strong. Get it in there. It's like wrestling a bear. Woo! All right. We did it. Woo -hoo -hoo! Fits like a glove. Look at that. Not bad. Now imagine if that was like up here, like a foot off and you had room for like shelves and cabinets and stuff. You could put a TV heater in here, grill for cooking some food, endless possibilities. But man, it's, it's a in start. It's a start. This is awesome. Okay. We're doing it. We're camping in the middle of winter. This is happening. So if you guys haven't seen our other camping video that we did this summer, actually last summer, it's a new year's 2020, but this is the actual tent. This is the function of it. So this is my truck, obviously. And what makes this tent more unique than any other tent is obviously it's in the bed. As you see, we got it strapped down on each side. There's these straps. It takes up the entire bed. I got a five and a half foot bed. But with the tailgate down, adds, you know, obviously another foot and a half, almost two feet, which is more than enough room. I mean, this is a queen size futon mattress and we got an extra space for like what Brandon was saying, stove, heater, all that fun stuff. But I mean, this is something unlike anything I've seen on the market. I know they do make a lot of tents, obviously, but this one's cool because it, it only takes five minutes to set up in the back of the truck. And if I wanted to pull out here and go somewhere, maybe like a mile or two down the road, I have full faith that this thing would probably stay on. Maybe if we didn't have this, because this would get some airflow underneath it. But I mean, you could do it if you really, really wanted to. If you don't want to go full board and, you know, get a topper obviously because those are thousands of dollars this tent i think only costs us like a hundred bucks so really really good deal and uh yeah that's just kind of what we're going to be staying in for the night and like brandon was saying we're going to incorporate a lot into our videos this year because we are outdoorsmen obviously we don't show that enough on our channel we do a lot of camping on our off time not in videos so we're saying well why the heck not just include it into our videos because we already do it enough and People like seeing it. Our last video did really good. So yeah, we're just here to show you guys a different side of us and hopefully bring you guys on some awesome adventures this year. So if you guys are curious as to where we are, we uh, managed to get Nick's truck stuck up here out in the middle of nowhere. I'm just kidding. We are right on my property. Um, I've got about 15 acres up here in Minocqua, Wisconsin. So we're way up in the Northwoods. And uh, like I said, Middle of winter here, actually getting into the end of winter. It's just about springtime now, but we've got some nicer temperatures. We figured what the heck, why not spruce it up a little bit, bust out the tent and see what we can make happen. So what else do you think we got to do to this thing, Nick? We should probably uh, work on filling this thing. Probably get some blankets. Ooh. First, after the everything, we are gonna have to get my truck on. <laughs> yeah, we do have to do that. All right, so what do we all need in this thing still? Well, we're gonna need pillows, blankets and a heater yep all right i got that heater here you're looking for oh yeah i can get used to this this is nice it's not Check bad that out. 
Oh man, this is awesome. Guys, this is going to be fantastic. I got my Packer blanket here. Feeling so nice up here in Northern Wisco. We're big old Packer fans. You guys might know our buddy John from Mindak Outdoors. He's a big old Vikings fan. We are not huge Vikings fans here no. in Northern Wisconsin. Absolutely not. But we still like our buddy John. So if you guys watched John's last video over at Mindak Outdoors, he actually came up to Wisconsin and bought a truck from me on the side. I am a car salesman. That's what I do every day, 40 to 60 hours a week. But uh, yeah, he came up, bought a truck from me. He's a big Vikings fan, and he shouted us out in his last video. So we're just doing the same. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out Mindak Outdoors, they do a ton of hunting, fishing, camping. We kind of share ideas across the board with one another, uh, good buddies of ours. So go ahead, check out their stuff. And if you guys are new to the channel from John's last video, well, go pack go. We still get along with John, so you're more than welcome to the family. But. Uh, we don't support the Vikings here. So on that note, we've got pillows, blankets. Heater. A heater. What's next? I'm almost ready for dinner. Should we start uh, maybe starting a fire and cook up some fish? I'm thinking so. All right, let's do it. We are currently walking back right now to Brandon's house. Like he was saying, we are camping on his property back here in the woods. We're going to get some fresh walleye that he's got in his freezer. Oh yeah, we got, uh, well, it's not exactly fresh. We didn't catch no. it today. It's but, fresh from the freezer. <laughs> yeah. We caught some walleye last time that we went out ice fishing, but uh, we were gonna do a catch and cook video and our buddy old pal Jordan Sled caught on fire. <laughs> if you haven't seen that video, yeah. make sure to check it out because it's a banger. It's it was something. very unexpected, but we're walking back to the house. We're gonna go ahead, grab some walleye fillets and cook them over the fire. So, should be good. All right, hold up, hold up. Before we show you guys the walleye fillets, gotta show you what's in the garage. Today, Nick and I went to Walmart and we bought a brand new Minn Kota trolling motor. This is going to be going on what we've been working on the for the kayak, last two right? months. Not the kayak, the boat. Let's go check it out. Okay, so here we are. Nick and I built the boat. If you guys follow up with our Instagram, you may have seen some in the process works and designs of this thing. We ended up picking this thing up for 500 bucks at the end of summer last year, and we've been working on it all winter. Now we've come a long way. If you guys haven't seen the boat before, we'll throw up some pictures right now so that you can check it out. But before, it was terrible. We went through, we gutted this whole thing out, we put in brand new floorboards, Check this out, look at these things. Brand new floorboards, all new carpeting on the floor, on the walls. Painted um, the back. Yep, painted the back. We put actually put in a in. whole new transom. Whole yep. new transom, that backboard, that is a pain in the rear. If you're ever looking for a John boat, you find one online that somebody says, oh, it just needs some transom work. Just know what you're getting into. Huge headache, but we did it. Shout we, out to our friend Bridge. For yeah, helping shout us. out to our buddy Bridge. He, uh, he helped us out big time. But yeah, we went through, put in the seats, and Nick and I made this little cubby right here. Pretty awesome. This was never here before. We built this. It's a really nice little storage compartment there. You can put all sorts of different life jackets. That's and where we're gonna boxes. have our battery, life jackets, all that stuff. Obviously, we had to build that too for the trolling motor. The trolling motor is gonna go front. right up here. We'll have a foot pedal and everything. We're gonna hook up the lights. We're gonna go through, give this baby a old paint job, and. This thing is going to be an absolute beast on the water this year. This is going to help us fish so many different places. So on the windy days, we don't have to be in a John boat or in a kayak with just a trolling motor or just a little motor. We have a whole motor for this thing. It's going to be awesome. So we just wanted to show you guys this because this is what's been keeping us really, really busy on the weekends for the last like two, three months almost. So just one of those little projects, but we're going to take this thing out in a matter of weeks here. Spring is coming soon, so let's go grab some fish. We just grabbed all of the ingredients and set them over by the truck. Now, when you guys are starting a fire, you're up here out in the woods camping, don't pick stuff off off the ground. That just doesn't work. Well, besides what I just did, that's because it came off this tree. This tree is dead, as you can tell. There's no pine needles, no leaves, no nothing. And I'm just breaking them down into small sticks. As you can see, you want some smaller stuff, you want some thicker stuff, but you don't put that on until later. Just nice, easy way of starting a fire.
We got tin foil. We've got seasonings. We are ready to rock. We've got these awesome fish seasonings here. We're just gonna sprinkle that right over the top. This one is an herby lemon seafood blend. Awesome stuff. Next one is a Kodiak salmon rub. Now this is walleye, not salmon, but it tastes delicious on it. And this one here is cracked pepper and citrus blend. There's a lot of spices on there for us, so that should be good. Now we're just gonna put a little bit more butter on there real quick. Get them all moist and ready for the pan. Here we go, this is gonna be good. We're actually just gonna put these right into the fire. Catch yourself on fire. All right, now that we've got it on top, we're just gonna go ahead and let this sit for about uh, five minutes or so, give it a flip, give it a few more minutes, and then these fillets should be done. Now what we did is we formed a teepee, which is typically what you wanna do when starting a fire. And uh, basically, we let it kind of collapse a little, and then that gives us a flat enough surface to put these fillets on top with the tin foil, just because we don't have what we usually have as far as a pan or something like that to put them in. So this is just kind of the old fashioned style of doing it. Like I said, you just let that teepee collapse and uh, you got a perfect little spot to put, uh, put our fillets on, which worked excellent. Usually you would put this into the coals. That's typically what we do is we let a fire like this get big enough and then you let it dwindle out you put it into the coals because the coals are the hottest part. You actually typically don't want them in the flames, but this is gonna work just fine. So we're gonna give this a few minutes and we're gonna give it a flip. And then shortly after that, time to munch. Jeez, criminy. Well. Fire is getting out of control because of this wind. Good luck with the flip. Okay. Do not open it. Do not open it, he said. Why don't you want me to open it? What would happen? Because I'm hungry. <laughs> Are you afraid that we're gonna lose all of our dinner? Oh my goodness. We're not dealing with crappies here, Brandon. We're dealing with walleye. Okay, here we go. Precious fish. Goes for it. Wasn't bad. Wasn't bad. That was scary, to be honest. I don't know if I love that, but it will work. I might just hold this up until these are done. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right, we got them flipped back up. Want to just crack that open? Let's just see how we're doing. We always want to test it. We want to burn our fish. Oh, baby. Oh, man. Look at that. That is looking good. Look at it just fall apart. Fall apart? That means it's done. Oh, boy. Taste test? Ooh. Dude. That is ridiculous. There we go, full plate of fresh walleye. We rebuilt the fire, because it's freaking cold. And there was coals. It went out actually when we took that off, no surprise, because Brandon was flipping it like a 100 times on it, put it out. But we had enough sticks left over, rebuilt it. So, nothing better, try some walleye, open fire. Wow. Pretty good. That's not bad. <laughs> That's not bad. Stuff looks delicious. Ooh. I don't even know what seasonings I really taste. I can, I can taste the lemon one, I think. Yeah, the lemon one's the strongest. Which I like. But normally, yeah, we've done a catch and cook. This is only our second catch and cook. Technically a catch and cook. We didn't really catch it today, but. Last one we did, we actually put lemon in there like we sliced up some lemon i'm gonna try not to get burnt here <laughs> we actually sliced crazy. up a lemon and put it in the tin foil we did it the same same way that was actually i think we did that one in may opening weekend right yeah i think so that or one was some, really good. something like that we did it we caught the fish literally took it to shore and cooked it over a fire Dude, that one a deer just running through the woods <laughs> you hey see him <laughs> oh boy just barely see him oh it's two there they go. There's one up there and there's one down there. Anyway. Hey, you guys want some why? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what they came for. Actually, no, deer don't need meat. Oh, dude, there's more right there. Look at them. Just chilling in the woods over there. Huh. Well, you'll have that when you're camping. <laughs> Anyhow, how's it taste? Anyhow, yeah, it tastes great. I could eat your whole plate. We're going to share it. 
there's actually a decent amount from that one fish so yeah we're just gonna enjoy the fire enjoy the walleye and uh yeah we'll what, see what happens what's it like camping in winter it's not too bad this is my first time actually camping in winter i do a lot of camping but never this early in the year that's for sure that was absolutely delicious hands down some of the best fish i've ever had i feel like every time we come out we make a new video and we do something like this the fish just keeps getting better and better so that's always good we're gonna go ahead finish up our meal enjoy what's left of the wood here on the old campfire but we just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video and if you guys are new to the channel or you guys have been around for a long time but you enjoy these style of videos we would really appreciate it if you let us know down below down in the comment section just tell us what you guys think uh, of course we do a ton of fishing that's obviously what our channel has been for years we do a lot a lot of fishing but this is what nick and i do off camera all the time we do a ton of camping more so in the summer of course but if you guys would like to see us do crazy stuff like this i mean spring's just around the corner it's still winter technically and uh, here we are out here in the woods on my property camping we can do a ton more hunting camping even incorporate fishing videos into it um, whatever you guys want to see just let us know down below we'd greatly appreciate it because there's a lot of people who are jumping on the bandwagon who don't actually do this they pretend like it's their lifestyle if you guys know anything about nick and i we've been doing this since we were kids we make fires wherever we go we cook food wherever we go we just like to do things differently so if you guys enjoy it make sure to give it a thumbs up and let us know we would greatly appreciate it so like i said we're going to enjoy the campfire we're going to go ahead and somehow get nick's truck unstuck because it's buried in the snow right now because it's still winter in wisconsin but again thank you guys for watching leave us a comment down below of what you thought don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel and until next time tight lines from nba